Let's get started. Number 10. The Octopus Escape Artists If aliens visited Earth, they'd probably stop at an aquarium, see an octopus unscrewing a jar lid, and go, Oh, our cousins live here too. These creatures are so smart, they routinely outsmart their caretakers. At the Seattle Aquarium, an octopus named Inky famously escaped his tank, crawled across the floor, and vanished through a drainpipe that led straight to the ocean. He didn't break out in panic. He plotted. Octopuses can recognize individual humans, solve mazes, and even play with toys for fun. In experiments, they've been caught sneaking out at night to eat fish from other tanks, then returning before morning like underwater ninjas. Their intelligence is distributed, meaning their arms can think independently. Each arm can taste, grab, and even make decisions on its own without consulting the brain. Imagine if your hands had their own opinions about dinner. Scientists still can't fully explain how an animal with such a short lifespan, barely a few years, developed intelligence on par with dogs or small children. Some researchers suspect it's because of their solitary lifestyle in a dangerous environment. They needed creativity to survive. Others joke that they're proof of extraterrestrial DNA. Either way, every octopus escape story makes humans look a little less special. Number 9. Crows that hold grudges. If you ever wrong a crow, move cities. Seriously, these birds remember faces forever. University of Washington researchers discovered that crows can recognize and attack people who previously threatened them, even years later. They also teach other crows who the bad humans are, like a feathery version of a neighborhood watch. Crows don't just retaliate, they strategize. They've been filmed dropping nuts on crosswalks so cars will crack them open, then waiting for the light to turn red before swooping in to eat. They also perform funerals, gathering silently around dead crows, studying the scene as if taking notes. Scientists believe they do this to learn about threats in the area, which means even their mourning rituals are practical and data-driven. And here's the twist. When given puzzles involving tools, like using a stick to reach food, they outperform many mammals. One crow in a famous experiment bent a piece of wire into a hook to pull up a bucket of treats. Nobody taught her that. She just figured it out. Humans call that innovation. Crows call it Tuesday. So if you ever see one staring at you with that sideways head tilt, just smile. They might remember your kindness or your crimes. Number eight, dolphins and their secret names. Every dolphin has a name. They invent it as a baby and other dolphins remember and use it for the rest of their lives. Scientists call it a signature whistle, but it's basically an aquatic username. When a dolphin hears its unique whistle, it responds, even if the sound comes from a recording years later. But the rabbit hole goes deeper, or rather the blowhole. Dolphins have been observed using tools, like wrapping sea sponges around their noses to protect them while hunting. They form alliances, trick rival groups, and even coordinate attacks like synchronized swimmers with a dark sense of humor. In captivity, they've learned to lie. At a marine park, trainers once rewarded dolphins for bringing trash from their pools. One clever dolphin started hiding trash under a rock, then tearing off small pieces one at a time to get multiple rewards. It literally invented a scam. Their intelligence isn't just imitation, it's social manipulation. They play mind games, flirt, cooperate, and occasionally rebel. In short, dolphins are the con artists of the sea, charming but calculating. And the unsettling part? They might understand us better than we understand them. Number 7. Parrots that understand context. Most animals mimic sounds, parrots mimic meaning. In studies at Harvard and the University of Arizona, African gray parrots like the legendary Alex could identify colors, shapes, and even express basic emotions. When Alex got tired of repetitive tests, he'd snap, want to go back, or no, you're wrong, to the researcher. He wasn't guessing. He was correcting humans. Alex also displayed emotional intelligence. Once, when a handler scolded him, he paused, looked her in the eyes, and said, I'm sorry. Scientists still debate whether it was learned mimicry or genuine remorse. But either way, it worked. He got a treat. Some modern parrots have shown a kind of self-awareness that humans didn't expect outside of apes and dolphins. They can use mirrors, ask for specific foods, and even hold grudges when ignored. Owners often describe them as toddlers with wings, adorable, manipulative, and terrifyingly observant. In 2016, researchers found that wild parrots in Australia actually develop accents depending on their social groups. If you move one flock's parrot to another, it will slowly change its call to fit in. It's the animal kingdom's version of picking up slang after moving to New York. These birds don't just talk, they adapt. And that's intelligence on a whole new level. Number six, rats that laugh. Rats have an image problem. People think dirty, disease-ridden pests, not emotional, ticklish geniuses. But in controlled lab experiments, neuroscientist Jak Panksepp 
discovered that rats laugh, a high-frequency chirping sound, when tickled or while playing. They even chase the researcher's hand for more, just like puppies. Rats also dream, plan, and empathize. When one rat is trapped in a small box, others will ignore food and work to free it, unless the rat is a stranger species. In other words, they have empathy and prejudice, just like humans. Their intelligence extends to navigation and cooperation. In maze studies, rats can learn complex routes after only one exposure and will choose paths that minimize risk, something that even some human drivers struggle with. And unlike most animals, they'll fake ignorance to avoid punishment, proving they understand consequences. Maybe that's why rats have colonized every continent except Antarctica. They're survivors, strategists, and comedians all in one. And if you've ever seen one run along a subway rail and stare right at you, that wasn't fear. That was calculation. Number 5. Elephants that mourn. Elephants are emotional giants. They don't just remember. They grieve. When a herd encounters the bones of a dead elephant, they stop, touch them gently with their trunks, and stand in silence. Mothers have been seen carrying their calf's body for days. Scientists who've studied elephant funerals admit it's one of the hardest things to watch. Their intelligence also appears in social organization. Matriarchs remember the location of water sources across decades and can identify hundreds of individuals by sound alone. During droughts, her decisions determine who survives. It's not just memory, it's leadership rooted in empathy and wisdom. They've even been documented performing acts of kindness, helping injured animals, cooperating with humans, and using tools like branches to scratch or swat flies. In one case, a group of elephants freed a group of trapped antelope from an enclosure, with no reward at all. And perhaps the most haunting part, elephants recognize themselves in mirrors, a sign of self-awareness rare even among primates. They know who they are, they understand loss, and they feel connection. The only thing separating us is that they do it quietly. Number 4. The Deceptive Cuttlefish If the ocean had con artists, they'd all be cuttlefish. These soft-bodied masters of disguise can change color, texture, and even pattern in less than a second, faster than your mood when your Wi-Fi drops. They use this not just for camouflage, but for psychological warfare. Male cuttlefish have been caught faking their gender to sneak past rivals. When a dominant male guards a female, the smaller one will switch half its body to look like a female and swim by undetected, while the other half, facing the real female, flashes a secret courtship pattern. Essentially, it's flirting in stealth mode. Even more shocking, researchers have found they can count and plan ahead. In controlled tests, if a cuttlefish knows a shrimp will appear later, it'll skip eating smaller snacks now, delaying gratification just like the famous marshmallow test for kids. That's not instinct. That's strategic thinking. And their brains? They're shaped like a donut, wrapped around their esophagus, meaning every meal literally goes through their brain. Yet somehow, they outsmart scientists regularly. So next time you see one pulsing rainbow colors on a coral reef, remember, that's not random beauty. It's communication, camouflage, and maybe a little bit of sarcasm. Number 3. The Psychic Jumping Spider If spiders already creep you out, meet the Porsche, a tiny jumping spider so intelligent that researchers call it a spider with a plan. It hunts other spiders, but not by brute force. It stalks, studies, and strategizes. It watches from afar, learns the victim's behavior, and then crafts a unique attack plan for each one. That's like if your dinner planned a chess match before eating you. When presented with complex mazes and lab tests, Porsche can visualize routes mentally, choosing the right path even when it's out of sight. That's called mental mapping, something most insects shouldn't be capable of. And here's the unsettling part. Porsche uses deception. It vibrates the victim's web to mimic trapped insects, then attacks when the host gets close. Sometimes it even mimics the mating signals of other spiders to lure them in. It's the ultimate serial manipulator, the Hannibal Lecter of the arthropod world, tiny, patient, and unnervingly clever. Scientists once described it as a thinking spider, which, if you hate spiders, might be the scariest phrase you'll hear all year. Number two, orcas that outsmart humans. Orcas are terrifyingly brilliant. They communicate with dialects, teach each other new hunting techniques, and even share generational knowledge like underwater professors. In Argentina, some orcas invented a unique hunting method, beaching themselves intentionally to grab seals. Then they taught it to their calves, generation after generation. In the Pacific Northwest, different orca pods have distinct cultures. Some eat fish, others prefer mammals. And they refuse to mix diets. That's not evolution, that's tradition. They also display problem-solving skills so advanced it borders on eerie. In captivity, they've been known to collaborate to short-circuit sensors, trick trainers, or manipulate feeding times. In one case, 
an orca spat fish onto the surface to bait seagulls, then shared the technique with its tank mates. Yes, they invented fishing. Recently, groups of orcas off the coast of Spain started ramming luxury yachts, not out of hunger, but seemingly out of coordination or curiosity. Scientists call it social learning. I call it oceanic revenge. If crows are the street smart tricksters of the sky, orcas are the tactical masterminds of the sea. Charismatic, organized, and just a little bit terrifying. Number one, the self-aware chimpanzees. If evolution had a VIP section, chimpanzees would be sitting right next to us, sipping coconut water and side-eyeing our tax system. Chimps share 98.8% of our DNA, and that similarity shows in every eerie, human-like thing they do. They use tools, wage wars, lie to each other, and even manipulate social alliances like seasoned politicians. In one famous experiment, researchers placed a mirror in front of several animals. Most ignored it or attacked it, thinking it was another creature. But chimps? They started inspecting their teeth, touching their faces, and even checking out body parts they couldn't normally see. That's the mirror test, the gold standard of self-awareness, and chimps passed with flying colors. But they didn't stop there. Chimps in the wild craft spears to hunt bush babies, set ambush traps, and teach their offspring how to sharpen sticks. Some even fake emotions to get what they want, pretending to cry for sympathy or scream to draw adult attention when they lose a fight. That's not just intelligence, that's manipulation. And perhaps the most haunting example, when a member of their group dies, chimps mourn. They touch the body, clean its fur, and sit in silence. It's grief, not instinct. It's raw awareness, the kind that blurs the line between animal and human. So maybe we're not as far from our primate cousins as we like to think. The main difference is that when we throw tantrums, we call it expressing our feelings. Bonus entry, the slime mold that thinks without a brain. You'd think something called slime mold wouldn't make this list, but this yellow blob has outsmarted scientists for decades. It has no brain, no nerves, no organs, yet it can solve mazes, navigate complex terrain, and remember past roots. Yes, a pile of goo can literally learn. In one experiment, researchers placed slime mold in a maze with food at two ends. Within hours, it formed a perfect network between them, finding the shortest path like a living Google Maps. Then, in another test, it recreated the layout of Tokyo's rail system when food was placed at major city points. Tokyo, the actual subway map. Designed by slime, when exposed to unpleasant stimuli like salt, it remembers to avoid that path later, storing memory and chemical pulses through its body. It's so efficient that computer scientists now study slime mold to design better transport networks and algorithms. So, if you've ever forgotten where you parked, just remember, somewhere out there, a blob with no brain could have done better. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.